Alright guys, so for the final step of these doors, we're going to solidify them. <coughs> Before we begin, as I said in a previous video, I'll show you guys how I did the next, I mean the other pair of hinges. And you can see my topology right here. I did it the exact same way I did these ones. So practically just added in enough edge loops. And then uh, used the supporting edge loops, created triangles which won't cause much of a problem because we're using shrink wrap and use that to support the edge loops in the middle here the edges of each of them same with this side I didn't delete the solidify behind it I only put stuff back so I added in the edge loops that I needed created all of these and then I pulled this whole thing back once after pulling it back then I used a knife tool and created these extra edges to support those ones so the same exact thing I did down here so that's basically how I added in the holes for the next pair of uh, hinges now I'm going to get into solidify this whole thing now before we begin let's go into this side okay let's take this very inner edge loop here and I'm going to press E and then X and extrude this inwards to about here and let's just add in an edge loop towards the middle area like that. We're going to do the same thing with this. So get out of that and get into this one. Take this, press E and then X. And extrude it in the X axis to about there. And add an edge loop through the middle just like the other one. Pull it close to the very edge there. Hold up. Oh, come on. Let me undo that. Let me add it again. So just left click and right click to confirm it. Now let's take this one, let's go into local view by pressing the the division sign on the numpad and <coughs> we're gonna add in the solidify, okay? But we don't want the solidify to <coughs> affect this all the way here. So we're gonna take all of these edges here and press F, okay? We're gonna fill it for now. Just for now. So just fill it for now, keep it there, and now let's add in the solidify. So we're gonna come down to this point, let's minimize the subdivision in this one and add in a solidify modify and I remember the thickness amount to be 0.35 I think no wait 0.035 is that it? no 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 hold on um what was it? was it 0.35 or hold on let me set this back to 0.1 no was it point hold on let me just use control Z to yeah so point zero one meters is what we have right now so I think it was let me press control A and apply the scale real quick and I think what we did let's try bringing this down okay that takes it completely down so I think it was point zero zero three five yeah that was what it was it was point zero zero three five so just type that value in to get it in there like that very nice very very nice so what we're going to do is we're going to enable only rim right here like this so enable only rim and apply the solidify or oh, basically we could we could just let's enable the rims okay uh, where is it um you let's just let's just leave it on only rim. So only rim and apply the solidify real quick. Now take all of those edges, this one, this edge right here, including the one it added in in this area. Okay, we can leave that one. But take all the ones that go around there, go into the object data buttons and remove this from the vertex group right here. You can see we have it the lip like that. We're gonna add in another solidify again. Click on that, add in the solidify again, 0 0.0035, and yeah, only rim, like that, and then apply the solidify again. So you can see, it gives us that nice edge all around, so I'm just checking to make sure it didn't give us any flaw any, anywhere. Yeah, so you can see, right here there's a tiny bit of a flaw. Yeah, it's not too good but I think we can fix that by let's add in an edge loop through this side okay so just press ctrl and r and slide that down to about here all right that should also add it 
all the way to the other side nicely like that all right good uh you know what actually undo that i think i know why that is happening okay so select this whole edge here. you can see the bevel i mean the mean bevel it doesn't go all the way to the back so let's just let's just increase that right now okay so select all of that edge and increase the mean bevel weight here all the way to one and you can see that gives us what we needed do the same with this one and increase the mean bevel weight all the way to one and you can still add in that extra edge loop if you want to but i don't think i will it's not really going to make much of a difference so no i won't so just leave it there like that just bevel it out very nicely the way it needs to be like that so I'm just going around making sure everything looks nice and once we have verified or I mean we are okay with what we have we just go up here yeah so once we have everything just the way we want it we're going to press ctrl and R through the middle left click and then right click and we're going to remove that also from the vertex group okay so remove it from the vertex group like that very nice Alright, now we're going to press Ctrl and R through here, and we're going to move that close to the very end, okay, very close to the end of the door, I mean the door's edge like that. So it should go all the way around on all sides, like that, very nice, all the way to down here, okay, good. Now I'm going to take all of these ones, the ones that go all the way around the door, and we're going to remove that from the vertex group as well, but first... I think we have to apply the shrink wrap modifier so let's go down here and let's copy the shrink wrap alright so copy and apply one of it so just apply one of the shrink wrap modifier to flush everything up against the surface of the guide mesh like that now once we've done that let me just make sure nothing was affected by that application alright we're good so once we've done that we're going to select all of that edge the one at the very edge of the door I'm going to remove it from the vertex group, like that. Okay, so that gives us a nice edge, very nice edge, even much nicer edge like that. Let me assign it and show you what happens. So this is it assigned, and this is it removed. So you can see that gives us a nice looking edge. But we have a little bit of a problem here. I don't know, maybe we should keep it assigned for now. I'm, I'm going to try something real quick before we try to remove it okay so let's select the middle edge loop we added in and let's get out of uh, local view and let's come back out here let's get onto side view now let's go into edit mode we're going to press alt and s and let's shrink this outwards a little bit towards the other mesh like that so you can see what that gives us it makes it more bulgy if you take a look down here let me just redo that so you can see what that does for us although I think that might be too much so let's try that again just a little bit like that not too much something small let's go all the way up here and make sure that looks good yeah so yeah so that is looking good let's go back to local view and see how it looks on the door nice 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 okay that is looking amazing good so that does it for this piece we're gonna go to the red door now so I'm gonna get out of that let me see let me make sure this one also has it nicely done let me just press ctrl and R through the side add one in and just left click and right click to leave it there nice so we're gonna do the same thing for the red door so yeah let's get into local view I might actually time-lapse this side out because uh, it's the exact same thing we did with the front door we're gonna do with the red door so I'm, I might actually
Alright, so once you're done with that, just cross check and make sure you have everything right. While I was creating this solidify over here, I forgot to fill in this face, so it created the, those uh, extra edge loops uh, in there. It added in those extra vertices. In case you didn't see me delete them, I actually selected the outer one, press Ctrl and plus, so it selected the extra one as well, and then I pressed X and deleted it. So that reminds me, let's delete this face over here as well. So let's, let's just press X and delete the face like that. So the solidification is done. We might, okay, hold on, I forgot one more thing. Uh, this one, I forgot to put one extra edge loop through the middle here. And also these, this extra edge loop we added in here, since we have the very one at the lip assigned, we can get rid of this extra one we put in here. So just dissolve that edge. Okay, because the one around it is already assigned and we want it to be soft like that. So that is looking good. Alright, so the doors are done and as you can see they are looking really good solidified compared to when they weren't solidified. So we're getting somewhere. So in the next video we might be working on the hood. We will finish the hood and then move on to the trunk. So I'll see you guys in the next video.